Heart of Darkness. It. Wow. Do you read anything besides Stephen King? Hell no. Journey to the center of the earth. That was classic. And how does your wife put up with you? All right, here we go. Look. Bravo, this is Sierra. We have a black SUV approaching. Seen this? Unreal. What the hell is that guy doing here? Bravo requested a new target of opportunity. High value target, Sanan Al Had. We may not get another shot. It's your call, but we're out here alone. Six visible targets. If they get their hands on those boxes, it's gonna be hot up here. Target lock.
you, sweetheart. Oh my God, it is so good to see your face. Ah, uh, you too. Everything good? I'm coming home for a couple weeks. Really? Yeah. Well, that's great news. That means you can be my plus one. Plus what? All right, you remember me talking about Darren Connor, my super rich client, owns like a bazillion different businesses, real estate, hotels, casinos. Yeah, the one who wrote that stupid Get Rich book. Yeah. What was it? Why shouldn't you have it all? <laughs> he's opening a new resort, and guess who's in charge of his super deluxe invite only? Opening bash. Who? You're an ass. Yeah, sometimes. So how about it? Five days of sun, beach. It's just a short trip for you. I was really just looking forward to getting back home, back to Michigan. I'm sorry, it's my job. Bad timing, I know. Why don't you just come home? No, no, wait, look. You're my help. It doesn't matter where I am. I love you back. It's okay, I guess. I mean, if you're in the paradise, you know, you know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you want to play, huh? Right. Right. Robin? Oh, nice to finally meet you. Oh, my gosh. Cynthia, this is my husband. Joe, Robin's told me a lot about you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Our goal is to have the most energy-efficient resort in this part of the world. As you know, this island rests in close proximity to uh, the volcanic corridor. Oh, yeah. Everyone knows that. So we've constructed our own geothermal plant, allowing us to use heat for power. Impressive security. Yes! 24-hour armed guards in the security towers, top of the line surveillance. We're actually having our opening party here tomorrow night. Where are you going in? Come here. Ah! I mean, I know you see exotic spots like this all the time, but this is pretty decent for us civilian folk. Yeah, are you copy? Fairness. Hmm. You know, I haven't seen you like this since... Well, since ever. Last one was bad, huh? Yeah, it's just one of those sideways. Anything you could have done? I don't know. I just got a closer look than I usually get. You want to talk about it? Just thinking about a change. Wow. Not to put ideas in your head, but... You know I'm proud of you. Whether you're saving the world or sweeping a floor. <laughs> You know, I know there was some good reason I married you. You have very low expectations. <laughs> it's so nice to see someone's having a good time. I was just waiting for you to arrive. Darren Connor, this is my husband. Joe Linwood. Soldier, right? Actually, he's a Marine. Hmm, right. Can I talk with you? I am getting 20 phone calls an hour from some Kusang representative. They have a reporter from some local rag up my ass for an interview who I do not want to get and some Greenpeace lawyer trying to hit me with injunctions. 
So could you just please do your job now, thank you? Absolutely. On my way. Pleasure. We need to replace the champagne. It's her the kitchen I would not give to my dog. And you thought your job was dangerous, huh? Uh, I like it, really. <laughs> I'll be back as soon as I can. Best price for you. Here, Tessa, I have employed you. Okay. Kid doing fishing on the beach. May I suggest an electrical fence for the... the resort they said you could be booked for a snorkeling tour we're not exactly up and running yet do tell <laughs> <laughs> oh come on please uh, a favor for your fellow yankees oh hell is he gonna hit me in that soft spot of mine i guess so <sighs> but just so you know one yankee to another i'm gonna overcharge you <laughs> oh well thanks for the heads up you talk? Uh, not if you can get away with it. Uh, Trophy husband. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your choice. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Run? No. All right. Yeah, Marine. Mm -hmm. I thought so. Where are you at? Paris Island or Pendleton? Pendleton. Hollywood monkey, huh? Force recon. You? Just a uh, regular SF Ranger. Explosive. Engineer, I blew shit up. Powder monkey, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, once upon a time, huh? Joe. Joe? Church. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, come on. Let me get you all geared up. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Does, uh, does this mean you're not going to overcharge me now? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yellow. Good choice. Sharks love yellow. That's great, baby. <laughs> He's joking. until your fancy resort showed up. Mm. It gets better. The other end of that beach, there's a cave. It leads you right back to your resort. Just make sure you head west, okay? They teach you that in the uh, Marine Corps, don't they? The difference between east and west? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go get him, honey. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Stay you got bored. I know who I married, Joe. 
And I couldn't be happy. This goes back to the resort. Yeah, wow. That's easy. We gotta go west. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, powder monkey. Well, church was right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you wanna go back? Go on. I have a party to organize. That reporter was milking around again, only this time he was pestering Mr. Chavalt about his opinion on the Greenpeace legal action against me. Need I remind you that Mr. Chavalt is one of our major shareholders? So that is just not acceptable. My apologies, Mr. Connor. I'll get right on it. Oh, please. Now that the damage is done. <laughs> Joe. Oh, great. G.I. Joe's here. What, you got an opinion? She's gonna kick my ass. <laughs> no, sir. See, I like some. I don't pick on women half my size. And G.I. is army moron. I'm a Marine. Okay, Joe, it's fine. No, Robin, hey, it's hey, not it's fine. fine. Joe, please. It's fine. Number one, I'm sorry about that. It will not happen again. Number two, the reason you're having trouble with the reporter is because you constantly ignore my recommendation and just give them 20 minutes. I'm not going to talk with any reporter. You've answered the questions you want, and when he brings up the injunctions, you... Smile sweetly and say it's all being worked out. It can only help you look better and not like a rich American outsider with something to hide. However, first things first, you have an opening speech to give. Okay. Good evening, friends, colleagues, and investors. I would like to introduce you to our host, the chairman of Connor Industries, Mr. Darren Connor. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, you honor me by being the first official guest of our magnificent new experience. Welcome to the Tanjala Beach Resort, where you will never have to ask yourself, why shouldn't I have it all? You know, before I created Tanjala, there was nothing here. Well, nothing but a wasted opportunity. This fabulous island was caused by inefficiency, archaic thinking, and a subsequent lack of employment for the local population. But I have changed all that. Water, fire, earth, air. They are not... Hey, Marie! <laughs> Crazy ass powder monkey. <laughs> How many jobs you got anyway? I've been known to move, lad. <laughs> Gonna have a good show tonight. Hey, look at this. Get a kick out of this. Oh, flare. I throw it up at the end for old time's sake. Military's nightlight. Nobody else gets it, but I don't give a shit. Hmm. What's going on? You and the little woman having a thing? Uh, her boss was being an asshole, and somehow... I'm the bad guy. Yeah, well, don't take it personal, all right? You gotta remember, she's on her own most of the time. Can't be waiting around for your sorry ass to show up and be all macho for her, right? <laughs> yeah. Look, brother. I'm not the kind of guy to be giving a lot of advice. If I were you, I'd polish off those knee pads, head back up there and tell her how sorry I was. A couple young things like you, I can guarantee you the makeup sex would be well worth it. <laughs> that how you did it? Nope. <laughs> yeah, look at me now, right? King of the world, ma. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Mm. Go on. Beat it. I'm about to light this place up. Solar energy from the sun. 
hydroelectric from the ocean, geothermal from the earth, and the harnessing of wind. On behalf of Connor Industries, I thank you and wish you a very enjoyable vacation. Here's to it! Hicks wouldn't know a thermodynamic converter from a hot fart. All they care is it says, please recycle on it. Okay. What's next? Mingling your death. Still inside.
gonna be okay. Local authorities are on. Just try to relax, all right? Hey! We're on TV. It's all on TV now. Another report of a terrorist attack on the Kanjala Beach Resort, capturing as many as 20 hostages. We have confirmation that this video, uploaded via internet minutes ago, comes from inside the resort. <laughs> century we have watched helplessly as the disease of the western world has spread across our islands now it is your turn to watch we will kill all the hostages in 24 hours if you wish to spare their lives you must pay tribute tribute infidel that's you and me buddy they gotta pay tribute for their crimes like money ransom Military's job. Listen, brother, I was never a hero, all right? Okay in a group, part of a team. Something like this? No, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, I can't do it. of Western influence on their country? You know what? People are working on getting us out. Okay? We just gotta stay calm and think with clear heads. Right. After that broadcast, there's no way for us to keep this quiet. Nakil Shaw, diplomatic advisor on behalf of the Kusam government. Blueprints to the resort. We have the perimeter surrounded. But I will not attack until we know more about the terrorists. That's all right, Commander. I'm taking care of this. Who's in charge? Sir. This is off limits. Please wait over there. No. Somebody's going to talk to me. Now. Wait. Let me. I apologize for that. 
you know, dealing with the military. It's like playing chicken with a brick wall. No offense, of course. What's being done about the hostages? I'm afraid I can't discuss it with you, Mr. Joe. Two days is unacceptable. I will be dead tomorrow. Just make it happen. The money is on its way. Tribute. Yeah, sure. Tribute. Whatever you want to call it. If you touch just one hair of my head, you can kiss it all goodbye. Just let us go away. The money is on its way. You got what you want. No. I got what I asked for. We're living in paradise long before the great white hope came to our shores to save us from our happiness. You don't know what I want. I think it's working. Either way, little brother, the message will be sent. It's all falling into place. This is a political disaster. I am the one who convinced my government to allow Khan Industry to purchase the old resort from the local owners. Now I have to negotiate the release of the hostages. I can't believe this is happening. I'm with counter security. Are you sending in troops? My government is extremely reticent to engage in military action. If they should storm in and the hostages are killed, we could have a, an international incident. And we're still waiting on word from the U.S., which means they're waiting to see how we deal with the problem. So what do you plan to do? I've already done it. Better trained than most of our soldiers. And accustomed to dirty work. Get out. Scum. How are you? Yeah, thanks. I could sell to the highest bidder. Better than letting them die. Hey, Blondie. Nervous or what? Thank you for responding so quickly. Who's that? He's with Carla Securities. Marine Recon. Congratulations. Now, get him out of here. I'm going in with you. Uh-huh. Look, I've been inside. I know the layout. Please, sir, just leave it to us. With or without you, I'm going in. You do. I'll consider you an enemy and shoot you on sight. You need to stand down. I'm taking over.
you tell me what they're saying? I don't know. The intruders will be dead? Team two, copy. Team two. Bloody. Team two. Something's wrong. Move. Quick. All of them. And the last one's missing. Blondie. They had a traitor, then maybe we have one too.
charge. I was trying to help. I was trying to save the hostages. I had to do something. You compromised everything with your help. You are done. Get out of my sight. Tell me what happened. Calm down. Gordy said there was an American Marine with them. Is he still alive? No, he's dead. But he killed our men. Our men. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> They must pay for this. Yes, they will. They will. They will. Just be patient. Be patient. Small example. Brother. You gonna be okay? Could you please deliver my message? alive and well. I'll make you kill me if I have to. Someone's got to help these people. Well then, brother, you got a real death wish. Ready? Come on, my office. Take whatever you need. Tell me something. What good are you going to do if you get yourself killed? Church, help me. The two of us together, man. With our background? No, 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 Rob. I already told you, man. Not everybody can be a hero, kid. Then let me buy your boat. Wait a minute.
Sergeant Stone back in there. I didn't let him do anything. You're in charge now, remember? You let him slip through your fingers? That's your problem. It means somebody's doing something. on the grounds. Rescue why? I don't think so. I'm not talking about soldiers or men. I'm talking about one person. One? They sent one guy after us? They keep calling him the American. him dead. I will cut out his heart! Stop pumping around. Tell me where they are. Where are they? Where are they at? They never talk. They never talk. They never uh. talk.
We have not harmed you. We have not harmed any more of your people. We have kept our word. Yes. Finalize the transfer. But only after the... Only after the hostages have been released. In here. We heard from the terrorists. They're ready to release the hostages. Why? Connor's family must be giving them the money. They denied it. What do you need? The terrorists have one condition. They'll only release the hostages to you. I don't understand. They told us they want a representative of the Kusang government. You do realize there's a possibility they're still planning to kill the hostages. And having a government official's head on a plate will just sweeten the message. I will take the chance. I have already endangered them too much. Any possibility they're telling the truth? I might have misjudged you. He's on board.
This is all my fault, you know. I pursued Kami. I convinced him to bring his money to Kusang to share some of that famous Western prosperity, to build a palace. I could even afford a room in. You know, when the deal was signed, I didn't get so much as a thank you. But Kane started diverting the water supply and making this island his own private toilet. Who got the blame? All my life, I gave to this island. Never once did it get back to me. And then Debo came to me. He promised to restore the balance. To take back what was stolen from us. To be perfectly honest, at this point, all I care about is the money. You killed the mercenaries. Just sent them to die. That was my part of the deal. I send in the mercenaries. Their failure forces the military to stand down. I just have to be sure they fail. And why should Damo keep you alive? We are freedom fighters, he and I. And Damo wouldn't kill a brother. The tribute is in the accounts. How about my portion? Oh, don't worry. You'll get your share. Plus a bonus. I thought you realized didn't care about money. Of course, we live in caves and eat bugs. Our money doesn't go to happy meals. Weapons, warriors. A thousand more men like me dedicated to the cause. Plus a few other goodies. Hey. Hey. What do you guys do? Hey, what are you doing? Finishing what we started. Hey, there's no more volunteers. We'll help us bring down this monstrosity once and for all. You got your money, right? You send your message. This is the message. I helped you. I held a horse. Don't make us laugh. You're a worm who thinks he's a crow. You could have done this without me. Finally, Sean. You get something. Exactly. Right. Please. Please. Scream, ah, fighter. No. 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 say in your book, Mr. Kana. Why shouldn't I have it all? <laughs> you disapprove. You've never sacrificed innocence to get the job done. 
Innocents always die in war. But the goal is to save people. Not kill them to win. You see? You do understand what it means to make a statement. Run! Run it! He's on yours. secure it.
the show, huh?
Oh, my job was dangerous. 